Hey there, this is Peyton here with Profit Daylight and on this video, I kind of want to give a summary of some of the previous videos that I have uh, talked about in the previous days and they have been about designing your website. So if you are using Elementor, you probably want to uh, design a full website. Some people only want to use Elementor, uh, the free version to, uh, you know, grab some of the free beautiful templates and go with that. But if you're one of the uh, people that want to design your whole website, I have created some videos that uh, talk about that. I, I just wanted to create a, a little summary video covering four, four of the videos that I have previously created. So the first one I talk about, uh, and you will actually see it popping up here somewhere on the top of my head. On that video, I talk about sections, uh, columns and elements. And I go real in depth in trying to explain uh, how segments, how columns and how elements work inside of Elemental. You want to take a look at that video, but you want to continue looking at this one first. I'm just trying to wrap it up here so that you can be able to quickly reference uh, where to go if you get a little lost in the process. So on that video, that will help you to understand how a website is is uh, built. Uh, it will help you to understand actually what is a segment, what is a block. It will help you to understand how a column work and and all those different things inside of Elementor. So you want to take a look on that video, which I uh, talked about earlier. Next, the second video I want to talk about here in this quick summary. Uh, is one where I talk about getting design. So actually, where should you get design ideas or inspiration uh, to build your Elementor website? And I'm not, I'm not going to go back into everything that I covered on uh, those videos, but on uh, that video, I believe I did talk about the starter templates. And I just wanted to uh, just go back quickly inside uh, well, this actually is, you know, this is where you will come and create your segments and columns. But I just wanted to talk about the second video. I did talk about the starter templates, and that was one of the places where you can get inspiration. You can look at all the templates, templates that they have and come up with your own idea looking uh, and those templates that they have. But not only that, I did also cover and, you know, basically this is, uh, this is how the website that I have uh, on that, that website looks. And this is a template that I got with the starter templates, actually. So you can uh, just, you know, you can look at the starter templates. They have very beautiful templates. As you can see, this little dog here, this is a pet uh, site. If I wanted to, you know, go to, go to a pet site, you're probably looking at a URL and you're probably, probably saying like, you know, uh, fat blocker doesn't have anything to do with pet. You know, I'm just using this website for training purposes. So I did load one of the free templates that I found on this starter templates here. So this is just how this website looks right now. Most likely that will change. I will probably uh, bring out another video with something else. But I just wanted to show you what that website looked like. You can watch that video uh, somewhere up here. And again, it talks about how you can get inspiration and ideas for how to build a website, even if you are not a designer, if you don't have, if you feel like you don't have design skills, you can watch that video and it will give you uh, pretty much uh, an idea where you can go to find uh, ideas. And I did also talk about this website, uh, you know, where you can get a ton and tons hundreds of upon hundreds of uh, beautiful websites that have already been created. You can go through the categories there and you can look at one of the websites that you like and just copy, just copy, uh, you know, blocks or segments, just copy parts of that website and create your own document. You can either create a Word document or you can create a PDF. You can even use your cell phone to take pictures and, and that way you can know, well, this is my header, this is my footer, this is my, uh, my blog segment and all of that. So just go ahead and watch that video that will give you inspiration on how to build a website. 
And talking about inspiration, I just wanted to look, uh, I just wanted to show you this other website because I have, I am managing I'm the webmaster of another website and it's kind of a magazine website. And this website really caught my attention. BBZ is very popular in, in news. And what caught my attention from this website was just, you know, this, these menus that they have on the top. It really caught my attention that the header actually, the header and the little menus they have on the top. Now I did not change the way my magazine website look, but just to let you know, you don't necessarily just have to stick with uh, the resources that I'm giving you. You can go on the internet and look for inspiration on any website that you like. If you like it, you can actually uh, try to simulate that uh, website or, you know, just, you know, try to look at a website and see what you, uh, what you can copy from it. So I did like the way the menus look here and scrolling down, I did like the way how uh, the footer looks. You know, it's just my personal like, you probably will look at it and say, you know, I don't like how the footer looks. It just looks confusing. To me, I like it very well. It has a lot of good menus on the bottom because it's a magazine website. As you can see, it has home, future, news, culture, sport, music, real, and, and all those categories are most likely on the website somewhere. You can probably find some of those, those menus on the top. So I personally like the way this website look. And all I'm trying to tell you is that you can do the same. You can look for websites in your niche and you can probably just, you know, copy segments of those websites that you like in order to create your own website. The third video that I want uh, to just summarize in this video, because this section is about, you know, designing your website, how to design your website. So the third one, I, I talk about where to find fonts that match. And for that reason, we went to this website called fontpeer.co. Uh, you can look at that video. It's going to pop up here somewhere. You can actually look at that video. You know, it's very uh, straightforward, very, very self-explanatory uh, where, where you can find, you know, fonts that match and appear for your uh, uh, element, elemental website. And finally, this other uh, video, the one that is going to pop up somewhere here is where I cover where to find colors for your website. Uh, if you are inside the Elementor dashboard and you see the default colors, you know, you don't have to stick with these colors here. You can come over to another website and just, uh, you know, find inspiration on, uh, you know, just get the colors, I'm sorry, just get the colors from there and just come and put them back here in Elementor. So just follow the directions on that video. Those four videos are like the summary uh, or like the introduction to designing your own website. I just wanted to just, uh, you know, talk about those four videos in this video. And that's all there is to it. And as I said before, if the content that I am posting on this channel is valuable, if it looks good, just go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I will greatly appreciate that. I will greatly appreciate your thumbs up. I'll greatly appreciate your comments below. And I'll also appreciate that you subscribe to my channel. I will definitely continue to uh, create more content around Element. So I want to thank you for watching this summary video about how to design your website. And I'll see you on the next one.